there was, there was really, uh, honestly, I never doubted for one second, Joe, I wouldn't make it to the NFL. I was focused on football and the quickest way to make a lot of money, I thought was football. The quickest way to get my grandmother out of that situation was football. The quickest way for my grandmother to kick her heels up and not have to worry about anything and she could fish all day if that's what she wanted to do was football. And that's what, what kind of house did you and Sterling get her? It was simple, nothing extravagant. She wouldn't want it. No, no, no. She did. Um, she was really simple. And that's why when people ask me, would I do it all over again, knowing what I know, to give my grandmother that life? Because 66 years, she had gone to bed, and if it rained, she got wet. And this, to give her that, Joe, I'd do it all over again. Man, this is I, what you see. Football is what I did, but that's not who I am. I am Mary Porter. I'm Barney Porter. I'm Sterling Sharp. I'm Sharon Sharp. I'm a byproduct of what I saw them do and how they raised me. And I wouldn't change anything about my life. I wouldn't because it made me who I am. It, it made me who I am. It made me what I am. Wow. I love that you retired to Denver Bronco. You went back to Denver, you're breaking all the records and, and all the individual things, you know, that you were able to accomplish. And in 2011, you get elected to the Hall of Fame. I mean, there wouldn't be a Hall of Fame. You've got to have Shannon Sharp in the Hall of Fame. And your grandmother is alive to know you're going into the Hall of Fame, but passes away before you get inducted. A month. One month before you're wearing that gold jacket, you lose your grandmother. I remember calling her after I got, after I got the word that I was going in in, 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 Jan, in February. And I remember calling and I said, well, she said, hey, baby. I said, hey, granny. I say, uh, we go into the Hall of Fame. She say, what's that? <laughs> I say, that's where they put all the, the good players. She said, oh, that's that show nice, son. That's show nice. She said, I, I sure hope I'm around to see it. I said, Granny, you will be. I went down. They were doing a story. Uh, Mike Cliss was doing a story on me for the Denver, I think the Denver Post. And I went down in June. And I remember my sister, my sister called me and said, Shannon, she's gone. I said, for real, Libby? And I hung the phone up. And my girlfriend, Katie, she asked me, she said, what's wrong? I said, Granny passed. I was, I was never the same, and I'm never going to be the same. A part of me died <laughs> when she died. Part of me broke when she broke. <sighs> All my life. I lived my life for one purpose. I, well, yeah, I wanted to be a good brother. Yeah, I wanted to be a good son. I wanted to be a good partner. And if I were to ever have kids, I wanted to be a great dad. But the thing I wanted most, to be a great, a great, all-time great grandson for Mary Porter. The proudest, my grandmother gets, or she got, is when people would say, Mary, you did a good job raising them boys. They're so humble. They're so well-mannered. It's yes, ma'am. It's no, ma'am. It's yes, sir. No, sir. That gave my grandmother the greatest enjoyment. My grandmother could have cared less that my brother and I made it to the NFL. My grandmother could have cared less that I'm in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. She cared more that I was a good person. That means more to me than 50 Super Bowls, 
than 20 gold jacket. Wow. Mm.